Good morning guys. Welcome to the next tutorial and here we are going to learn some interesting topics. So the topics for today are blaze meter recording plugin and J meters template. So earlier before this session we were using HTTP test script recorder for recording the scripts. Now we're gonna see how we can use this plugin to record it. So let's open our J meter. So J meter bin folder and the patch file. Perfect. So now we have opened our JMeter. So now this BlazeMeter plugin is it is an extension of Chrome browser. So when you open Chrome and go you go to your extension or you can say download blaze meter extension. You'll see a link to the Chrome Web Store and you can add this extension to it, right? So you can use this one. Pardon me, the internet is running something slow, maybe it's taking time to load the page. Once this plugin is added, you'll see it in your extension. So you can add to the extension from here, right? You, you get an option of add to Chrome. So once it is done, you see go to more tools and extensions. You'll see it here, right? But this is how you can download and add the plugin. So after adding the plugin, click on this plugin icon and you'll see a UI opening which would give you recording controls right so you can rename your recording say we have renamed it to R2 then you have you need a .gmx file to export it to JMeter you also have some recording options whether you want to record only top level request or even cookies so if you want to record cookies also this would get unchecked so you can use any of them according to your needs and as per project. So and you can select any options here, whatever you need to record, right? So let's go here. Oh, I'm sorry, it got closed. Let's click it again. So let's start the recording now and go to Google. Type place meter any actions you want to perform you can do the same via your recording controller right so let's come back here and stop the recording now we can export it as a GMX file it also gives you an option of if you want to remove some you know unintended or some extra request from your plan so that you don't need them anymore so let's see, I don't need google.com, I want whatever got redirected to google.co.in and submit. So it is exporting the JMX file now and it will be downloaded on your system. It may take some time according to the number of actions you have performed. More the number of actions, you know, their script becomes longer and longer and it increases your size also so it may take some time to download so once it is done let us see how we can use the same in JMeter so the script is almost downloaded now it is exporting as a JMeter file So once it is so it is successfully exported, right? Internet connection. And maybe it's a problem with the blaze meter server that is not generating the file. So I think it's coming back. So so yes, this is your file now. Show in folder. 
so either you can directly open from here only in whatever location it has copy it or you can copy it to your jmeter folder okay perfect so now let's come back to the jmeter click on file open and go to the same directory so you have your file now r2.jmx click on open so expand your thread group and you see that your request has been captured with all the parameters that actually went on with the request to the server right so this way you intend to perform the same function that your non test element test script recorder does right so in test script recorder you have to you know make a lot of configurations port configurations then you know put proxy on your server and do everything right so this plugin is somewhat easier to use you just need to add it to your Chrome and you can directly record whatever you want to but what makes you know it better is that you can also record mobile requests from here right so this is how you can use this blaze meter recording plugin so let's see now what are jmeters templates so when you click on file you have something called templates so templates are automatically stored components you can say so for example I want to make some recording so what can my recording template create of so you know it create it is it consists of all the important components you need to record your script for example you have a test script recorder added here and your target controller is also set and the same controller is also added in thread group so all these configurations are already done you have request defaults cookie manager everything is added so you know it makes your life easier when you have some of your templates saved you can just directly import it in any of your test plan and just perform the actions directly before you know not in a need to know what all you need to add because this already has the information so let's explore some other one so for example in earlier sessions we studied about database testing and what are all the components that we need to add to a database test plan so here let's try to use this template and see does it have any difference with what we have done that way so click on create do not save it so you see it is exactly the same you have a connection configuration and you have a sampler so both the things are already configured so me being you know new to jmeter does not know what all I need to add for this JDBC request can directly use the template and it would give me the you know at least the basic components that are very much required to run the request other than it you can you know add anything you can add cache manager request manager maybe type of listeners you want to have so I hope both the topics are clear to you and you enjoyed the session so thanks for listening